Hello, hello everybody, and welcome back to more Yu-Gi-Oh! It's me, Cooper, and we're gonna be playing some Yu-Gi-Oh! at night, which, uh, is actually dangerous, apparently, so we'll see if it goes bad or if it goes good. Uh, let's go to the park at night. There's someone here. Hello. Is that Yu-Gi? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Okay. Okay. Docs! Ha ha ha, now that I found you, this is your last... Wait, this is this is your last? That means nothing. In this shadow game, you are going to have to look at my fat face. Yes, you have a fat face in this game, Docs. Outclassed. Yeah, whatever. So yeah, Docs has a fat face in this game, but we're have to, we have to face Docs now. And his Labyrinth Shadow deck. Alright. This is a little bit scary. We're going up against freaking Docs of all people. Of Para and Docs. Ooh, that background. That's cool. I have a combo in my hand, so I feel a little bit confident, but we don't know what we're up against. And he has fusions, which is probably the Labyrinth Tank, which is probably going to kick my booty if I'm not careful. Okay, face down. Really? Alright, to test the waters, I'm willing to attack with Shining Abyss. Simply because I don't know what to expect from my opponent. I would go full-on aggressive with Pumpkin, but I don't know what to see, what to, I, I expect from this guy. Yeah, he has a fat face in this game. Interesting. That's fine. I'm, I got one too, buddy. Don't worry. I got the big cheeks, big neck. You know how it is. Second coin. You're one of those guys? You are one of those guys that love the coin toss effects? In this game, at least? All right, we're going for Pumpkin. Ooh, man. Getting jumped by Docs. That's kind of scary. Alright, we got Pumpkin. Uh, even though he's probably going to get a boost from... Uh, you know what? Even though he's probably going to get a boost from this, I'm going to go for Yami. I know I, I, I uh, don't get... Oh, wait! My Pumpkin doesn't even get a boost from it. Whoops. Yeah, all I did was uh, make my, my Yu-Gi-Oh cards weaker. That sucks. I'm bad at video games. Ah, Magician of Faith, who does get stronger from this, but who cares? He hasn't used a spell card yet, so that... Well, he has, but a spell card has not entered the graveyard yet, so he kind of wasted that card. And I've made myself weaker, which means I've wasted this card. It shouldn't even be in the deck, technically, but I don't have many replacements at the moment. And it's fine. He's a good card. Shining Abyss is good. So, next turn, I can get my combo going. Or, well, I can at least set up the combo. Really? He's just doing nothing. He just can't do anything. Jesus. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and set this to start up the combo. Um, I'm not going to use my stim pack because I have eternal rest, which means I could combo with it later if I wanted to. We're just going to do some more damage to Mr. Dox, or Mr. Yeah, Mr. Dox here. I can't believe he jumped me when I was going to go see Yugi. And it looked like Yami, so it would have been cool to duel Yami. But still, we're doing someone new no matter what. The background is epic as hell. I'm enjoying this. Even though he hasn't done anything, we haven't seen a single iconic monster from him. Just a card we've just cards we've seen before. I'm just curious what he uses if he has a second coin toss. Okay. Looks like I'll have to activate my own trap card. I flip... Or my own monster effect. I flip you to power up you. Very good. Now you're at 2100 attack points. I might be willing to stim pack you, but I'm not going to. Because I'm going to summon Mooka Mooka, who loves this power. Alright. Let's have the pumpkin go for the face down. Ah, Sinister Serpent. I saw Mr. Grandpa use that card. But you're out of life points there, Docs. I think you've lost the duel. I don't think you understand that I am the better duelist. So we got jumped at night by, of all people, Docs. I thought they weren't evil. Like, they work, they're, they're mercenaries, so... That technically means they could work for evil people, but they're not, they're not evil, per se. 78 experience, that's the most we've ever gotten. Shadow game bonus 30. Duelist bonus 78. Exactly zero life points 10. Oh wow, that's a big bonus for money. I got a lot of money in that duel. Yeah, what are you going to say about that, Docs? Ugh, I won't forget your face. Well, you know what? I don't care. I'm going to go, uh... It was weird that we got jumped. I'm going to... What? I couldn't even go home? Docs? Now I found... What do you mean you found me? You j I just beat you! I literally just- I was going home like I was told. And I literally just beat you, so come on. Don't be a dick, Docs. Although I did get a really good hand, you seem to get a really terrible hand. So I guess this will be a better example of what you got. Shadow game. Hmm, did not get what I normally enjoy. I did not get enough monsters is the problem. 
And I'm left with... I, I could Yami now just to... Power myself up. I feel like he has evil monsters, though, like spellcasters and fiends, so... You would think he would like this field, but you know what? It, it, we don't know that, to be sure, so... You know what would be a great card to draw right now? Mahavelo. Mahavelo would be amazing. Okay. Oh, wow, you have Pot of Greed, but you summoned a monster before doing anything? That's just going to heal you a little bit. Yeah, a little 400. Ah, a little chunky feast. Alright, well, you're not a zombie, so this isn't going to buff you. That thing is really weird in this game. That head? Yeah, not not cool. Very defensive, though, so I'm guessing he loves to tribute monsters. Which means I might want to go aggressive if I have a monster card. I did not get a monster card. God damn it. Oh, crap. This duel might not go as well as the last one. Well, it is the shadow game, so I need to be more careful. Cost down. Oh, crap. He summoned a big boy. Wait, no. He normal summoned something. What? Did he just waste his cost down? Does the AI not know how to play video games? Oh, my God. Because I thought he was going to summon one of the pieces of Gate Guardian. I honestly did. I was like, oh, my God. He's going to pull off one of them. And one of them I would have to use my eternal rest on. But, damn. He didn't. He didn't even do it. Giant Rat's really good. It's a really good card. Alright. You want to take more damage? You take more damage. It's fine by me. Problem is, if I, I'm thinking about summoning Zoa, obviously. But he has one trap card that he never used last duel. And he might use this duel. So instead of using Zoa, I'm going to use my magical guy. My little magical guy here. You see the magical guy? The Swordsman of Neo. Yeah, Dino's got 1900 attack. That should be enough to scare off any opponent. I'm going to set Rush recklessly in case of emergencies. And then Neo here is going to destroy the card that lets him um, fuse. Wow, this card is terrible. I thought I had 2000 defense. No, it's just Statue of Easter Island is not great. This card has an ability to let him fuse in the future. So no, you need to die. Sorry about it, Docs, but you need to die. Yeah, yeah I'm getting jumped at night and it's super annoying. Alright, what is that? Oh, that's one of the fusions! If he had polymerization, he could have summoned the Labyrinth Tank. Oh, you're attributing yourself to do 500 damage, huh? You didn't want to attribute your other monsters? That's weird. Not really, but it's it's sad that you didn't want to do anything else. A new trap card. That could be worried. Yeah, I'm worried a little bit. Alright, you're out of use. I might be willing to go for Zoa now, even though he just played a new trap card. Let's see what uh, Zoa can do. I think Zoe's a fiend, so he loves the Yami field. Oh, yeah, he does. There's our boss in the background of the Shadow game. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Now, just to make sure he's even stronger, I'm going to activate this old Fairy Meteor Crush. Now, I'm going to save one equip card in my hand, just in case I need to use the Eternal Rest combo on somebody else. So, what we're going to do is we're going to attack... Let's see what he summons with Giant Rat out of curiosity. What would you? What? What are you? What is your plan? Because if it's just another Giant Rat, I'm gonna let you keep it. Labyrinth Wall. But you played it in attack mode because you knew. It. Okay. Okay. I have to destroy this now. Because if I don't destroy the Labyrinth Wall, he's gonna have a big wall forever. Boom. That is one of their boss mo or one of the most iconic monsters the Paradox Brothers have. And the, the Labyrinth Wall is good. So, boom. You take a lot of damage. I'll get that island head later. Wait, can I activate Needle Wall? No. Okay, I just wanted to make sure I didn't forget about Needle Wall because it's such a good card in this game. Narcan Soldier, just to tribute yourself. I understand. Might as well tribute both your monsters because you're going to die anyway. If your goal is just to do as much damage as possible, you might as well do it. Alright, Needle Wall did what it had to do. 500 damage? I take it. Even a Shadow game can't kill Cooper. Ah, my Baron. There he is. There's my beefy boy. Okay, didn't get the kill there, but I'm not worried about that. The duel is over as is. As is. I don't even care about my Eternal Rest combo anymore because the duel is over. I might as well just power up my Zoa. Make him even stronger. Alright, Zoa. You could even defeat the Labyrinth Wall now, so I want you to feel proud about that. Goodbye, my Easter Island head friend. 
Almost 2,000 damage. Holy crap. Freaking Zoa, man. Alright. And I think I'll give it to Neo, since Neo's been carrying the team for a little bit. Go ahead, Neo. Yeah, you sword spells are great. So, Donks jumped me twice tonight. And he paid the price twice tonight. I don't know why he didn't learn the first time, but I'm a little bit happy because we're getting a lot of experience off of that. And the Shadow game gives us a lot of money. 30 points to be exact. Yeah, look at that. Boom. So, I just wanted to go home, by the way. I won't forget your face. Uh, can, can I go home? Yeah, okay. I can return when it's nighttime. Because this has been a little bit of a rough day. And it's been a while. I know I don't usually do this on camera. But we're going to save the game. Just to be safe. I think if you lose a shadow game, you die. And you get a game over. And I haven't saved in a long time. Like, a long time. So you guys have no idea. If we would have lost one of those duels, um, I, I would probably have lost so much uh, progress. Like, I don't even think we would have seen, um, like, Rex Raptor or... Or Bak I think the last people we saw the last time I saved was Mako and Bakora. So anybody after them, Serenity, any of those people, we would have lost. Alright, let's see. Um, and I would have lost any cards I bought in the past few days. Um, here. Alright. Oh, Taya, I haven't seen you in forever. How are you doing? So, I see you haven't been attacked by the Night Duelist, Docs, and his awful, awful, awful deck, honestly. I thought it would be good, and it looked good, because he had the fusions, and he had everything. He had Labyrinth Wall, he had Cost Down for his Gate Guardian pieces, but he didn't really use them eff effectively. Alright, my hand is absolutely broken, so... Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and summon the Great White. You know what? No, why not? Why am I not just summoning my Dark Elf? Ah, kill this, Taya. Even, uh, even your Dark Magician Girl would struggle to kill her. Yeah, I know, Taya, I know. You wanna do it twice? Everyone votes that she does it twice right now? Nope, okay, she didn't. Well, I don't know what you voted, so I guess I can't play. I can't, uh, mark you for anything. Okay, now we summon the Great White. Because the Great White could probably destroy whatever Taya has down there, including his, her Red Archery Girl, which is one of her better defense monsters, if not best. Hey, look at that. Freaking called it. So in the, wa in, the, in the sea, the Great White eats the Red Archery Girl. Unless the, she finds him and catches him off guard. And then, you know, gets him from range because his defense is terrible. There we go. Another 2k damage. So I'm back to 8,000. She's down to 7. Sounds good. Give me another Reign of Mercy. I want to be at 10,000 life points when you hit 0. Oh, wait. No, I'm using Dark Elf. It's impossible. Alright. Now we can go for the big old Buffy boy. Yeah, this will increase our power on two people, giving us an extra thousand attack in total. Which is as good as summoning somebody. Eventually, because if I get another Dark Monster, it's worth it. At this point, Shining Abyss would have been better. But having a 2500 attack point monster feels good. It's like, hey, I don't have Dark Magician, but I have Dark Elf and she can do 25. It only cost me a thousand life points. Just a thousand. <laughs> I'm thinking about that. That, that. That's actually a lot. What, what, what do you actually mean by that, Cooper? Because that's actually a lot of life points to lose. I don't know why you think that's good. And the answer is, I don't think it's good. I think I'm bad. Dispel. Do I have a spell card down there? No, I have two pronged attack. Oh, she gave up. Alright, so. That was uh, Taya, everybody. She is known as the quitter now. Because she quit this duel really quickly. And after fighting Docs twice, I was expecting more. Eh. Alright, good old scratch attack. It did good damage. Taya's not a fan. Yeah, I'm the best. 50 experience isn't the best, but whatever. I'll take what I can get. Yep, yep, yep. Thank you. Thank you. Dude, we've got made so much money just off of those Paradox duels. I almost want to duel them again. Or duel him again. I guess it's not them because I didn't fight Para. I just fought Dox. Mokuba, what are you doing here? Taya, I feel like we're playing the game all over uh, from the beginning again because we're fighting Taya and Mokuba and no one else. After those cool dock stools, I was hoping for more. Eh. It's like every day a new opponent could show up, but no. Some days, nobody. Alright, time to start this duel. Let's see what you got. 
Oh, I started with Dark Elf. That's a rough start for Mokuba. Even his mighty Desk Koala couldn't stop that. Mooka Mooka is a better start, though. So, yeah. I didn't draw a single spell or trap card, but I don't think I need to when I have this. There we go. Hey! Mighty Desk Koala. It's going to do like 2,000 damage to me, which is really impressive. But, I mean, I still kicked its ass, so who cares? <laughs> damage. Eh. Alright, you gonna do anything now, Mokuba? Got any other plans? Ooh, that would have helped you a little bit. Oh, Mooka Mooka looks weird from top down. Alright, so... I drew Needle Wall. Mmm. Mooka Mooka 2400 attack sounds better than me... Or 2100 attack sounds better than Needle Wall. For now. Alright, so unless that's another Des... No, even if it is another one, they... No, they can't stop me. Griff 4 can't stop me either. I drew some of my most powerful monsters this game. No spell traps until now. I have Needle Wall now. But, uh, yeah, they're screwed. Unless, uh, Mokuba draws... Let's think. Um, what's his strongest card? That could do damage rather than defense. Because he has a lot of defense monsters. I actually don't know. Because he needs Beast Fangs on something strong. Because he has the forest up right now, so he can actually do damage. But my monster has 1,800 attack. My other one has 2,000, so it's going to be hard. And it looks like Mokuba doesn't really have... Oh, wait, yes, yes. Because you never know if it's going to roll a three. All right. So, overall, I think going for Boganian would do the most damage. Oh, my God. Never mind. I just... I'm going to be able to attack directly anyway. So I might as well just go for Shining Abyss. Boom. This this opponent is... I, I feel so bad for Mokuba right now. Like, my rolls have been super lucky in this game. And it's not even a game where you can choose where to summon your monster. You have to play it in the middle. Alright, Mooka Mooka. 18, and then a good old 2,000 chunk. I'm at half-life points, and Mokuba is at just about death. If I had rushed recklessly, he would have lost the duel by now. All right, Mokuba, figure something out, because you're at the end of your rope. I guess you could summon Torike, Beast Fangs, and then you could beat Shining Abyss, but that's it? No? Okay. Okay. Yep, okay. Let's see if I get a three and I can just win the duel. Six? Okay, well, that gives me another shot. One? Meh. Come on. Come yeah, on. We're better than a one. Um, technically I could just summon Boganian, and then, uh, if it makes it back to my turn again for whatever reason, I win by that. Oh, look, it's Crocodilus, or Dilus, whatever it is. It does not actually matter. It, it's a reptile and doesn't get boosted by the forest. It actually prefers... What the hell does a reptile get a boost from? I don't think anything. I don't think anybody likes reptiles. That's a dumb card to have, Mokuba. Granted, I have, like, dumb cards in my deck, too, that I don't need, like Shining Abyss, but still. It has, at least my cards have good stats compared to yours. Now, give me an absurd amount of experience. A 62 is absurd. I should not be getting that much from a kid. He's not even a good duelist. Hey, want to register as a duelist? We'll be able to duel any time. Uh, sure. Thanks. Okay, I think that was our 10th victory on Mokuba. Because after a while, they ask you to register. And I think that means, like, we... Yeah, that's literally what it means. Like, we could duel whenever we want now. Let's see. Like, Yugi, he has a smile a little. He likes me. Yugi likes me. You look at Joey, not so much. Joey needs more time. You look at Mokuba. Nine, oh, it was nine duels? Really? He loves me. He has a little marker now. Uh, but Korra... Eh, everyone else doesn't really seem to like me that much. Mo, Mako hates me. Mako absolutely hates me. Rex Raptor? I can't believe he counts as weak. He hates me, too. Dox hates me. Oh, you deserve to hate me. Alright, that's about everyone we found. Found quite a few opponents now, and there's still so many more. Alright, let's see. I want to fight someone over here. I don't ever duel over here in this corner. There we go. Let's try you. Is that Yugi? Okay, Yugi. I want, I want good experience, and you're the best experience I can find, unless it's a shadow game. So, yeah, let's do this. Alright, Yugi. 
I'm going to use my fist against you. Haha, -ha, I broke your scissors. I'm going to go first. All right, starting, I got decent hand. Decent. Oh, you know what? No, this is this is fine. This is a fine hand. So I'm going to say I'm going to summon you. Set you. Now Yugi has stronger cards, so he could beat my Baron. The reason I summon Baron is cuz Witch can help Baron. Although this witch also helps almost all of Yugi's cards, so that's a problem. Plus, that's probably Spellbinding Circle. Or that one. Or that one. Or that one. Oh my god, this is going to be a horrible duel. It, it sucks when you can already tell when the duel is going to go bad. Alright, hope for a three. We seem to get it quite a bit. Ooh, Pumpkin! I might change my uh, idea on what I want to do. A six, perfect. Which means reroll. Five, useless, but maybe later. Alright, because I think they have Spellbinding Circle, I'm going to go for Rouge Doll. And then I'm going to... What? I totally didn't do that. I 100% didn't do that. I did not do that. I promise you all at home. I did not do that. That was not me. No. That is unacceptable what just happened. I do not accept this. Okay, well, whatever. We're not losing, so I'm not upset, upset, but I'm a little upset. All right, I'm a little upset. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to... You, you can go away, because we got two Witches Apprentice now, and that's a lot of power. We're just going to chill here. We got, you know, we got our big boys. We got to wait until this Swords runs out, because Yugi has amazing cards. It's just a Feral Imp. I was hoping he'd be willing to attack. Oh, he wasn't willing to attack me. He just wants to show me what, uh, what it's going to happen if I summon my uh, Witches Apprentice. He's just going to get a power-up. Which is fine, because I'm going for other strats. You know what? I might as well flip you now. Just in case this card gets flipped without me wanting it to be flipped. Because I might as well get the combo off no matter what. And I wait till Swords runs out, and then I go super aggressive, and then lose everything because of four face downs. Yep, see, this is why you do it, because you don't know if the combo's going to go off. Boom. Combo goes off, everybody gets stronger. All right, 6.30, not bad. Now on my next turn, on my standby phase, I get 200 attack point boost. Boom, just got it right there. All right, let's see it. Oh, wait for the lag to hold up, or for the lag to calm down. A six, not really great. A three or a four would be a perfect. A three specifically. Okay, yep, you know what? We saw that before. Let's try something new. Okay, game, okay. It's fine. I'm not. I don't need it. I want it. I don't need it. Um, yeah, power up my pumpkin because we don't know if uh, he's gonna get dark magician now. And honestly, just in case he does, boom, defense mode, and then shining abyss. I want to. I want to use witch's apprentice. Trust me, everyone at home. I want to. <sighs> fine. For you people at home, I will. I'll use Wabaku to save witch's apprentice. Have two witch's apprentice and just kick the ass out of everything he summons. Even though he has four face downs and I fear them with my life. Mm. Oh, it's Gaia. Okay, Gaia is not that scary. Gaia is scary. It can technically beat a lot of things I have, but it's not that scary. Okay, we're fine. We're 100% fine. We are no longer fine. We have entered the danger zone. Uh, yes, I will actually save my Baron. And the reason I am is because I don't know who's going to be the one to destroy Yugi's, uh, Gaia. Because Gaia has 3,000 attack points. Holy crap. If he has two, uh, Spellbinding Circles down there, I can't do anything about it. Or wait, if I can get a four. If I can get a four, Gaia will die. <gasps> yeah! What are the freaking odds? Yes, you pay for it. Boom. Horn of the Unicorn goes back to the top of the deck. I don't even care. This is going to be the most aggressive turn in Yu-Gi-Oh! Trubadour history. Because every monster on my field, except Shining Abyss. Oh, wait, no. I don't know. Every monster on my field is buff as hell right now. Witch's Apprentice. Boom. Look at these attack points. 1,400, 2,000, 3,200. Oh, wait a minute. Boom. Witch's Apprentice. 15, 37, 25, 19, 15. GG, Yugi. Unless you have Spellbinding Circle. Uh-uh. He's gonna let the easy attacks go through. That's why I'm willing to attack them with them first. 
He's like, oh no, I don't want to spellbinding that card. I have to let him do damage to me. Oh no, I don't want to spellbinding that card. I have to let him... Yeah, that's right. You have to let me. There's nothing you can do, Yugi. Nothing. I am the alpha dog here. 1900. He might stop this one. I never put Pumpkin in attack mode. I am noticing this right now. I just noticed it. You know what? He probably would have used spell binding on Pumpkin, so I'm glad I didn't. Well, there's the spell. Okay. So now I don't have spell binding on Pumpkin, so I'm I'm happy. Main phase two? Should have done it though. I feel really bad. I should have done it. Could have won the duel. If he didn't have two of them, I could have won the duel. Alright, he's playing defensively. We could still win the duel. Ain't nothing saying we can't. Mooka Mooka, useless card anyway. If I get a three, it'll be even easier to win the duel. Okay, fine by me. We got many options here, so I'm not worried. Yeah, my Pump King's even stronger now. Look at that. 4,000 attack point Pump King, everybody. Remember this and fear it. Alright, Castle of Dark Illusions, whatever your name is. Yeah, you do the thing. Good. Very good. Well, let's see if I could have won last turn. First things first, I'm going to attack with... Um, I'm going to attack with this guy. Because Yugi will have to use Spellbinding on one of them. To stop me from winning the duel. So will the AI, if I attack with the weaker one, stop me? Nope, we're good. It's fine. 4,000 attack, it doesn't need to happen. I have 4,000 attack, just remember that. You win. Alright, 74 experience. Yeah, we're almost there now. Took a while to get down to level, to get close to level 7, but we're getting there. Yeah, 100 extra dollars too. That's going straight into the Yu-Gi-Oh cards that we're about to buy. Cooper. I want to register. Oh, cool, we did it! Yes, yes, yes! Okay, cool, so that's like the second person we got today. We are registered. Although we did duel Mokuba and Yu-Gi-Oh a shit ton. And I've lost to Yu-Gi once, so I'm glad he still wants to be friends after that. Alright, uh, I'm gonna go in here. Let's go to the shop, Ona. Hello, sir. Um, I would like to buy this pack. Let me get one of them. What can we get from Mr. Uh... Oh, we got it! We got the ritual spell! Now we have the full combo! Oh boy, Acid Trap Hole! That's an interesting one! Uh, flip that down, flip one face down, defense position, monster face up! If the monster's defense is 2,000 points or less, the monster is destroyed. I know this doesn't look like Acid Trap Hole you're used to, but it is. Toss a coin and call heads or tails. Call it right, and this card's attack will be doubled. Call it wrong, and it will be halved during this turn. Okay, that's not terrible. Labyrinth Wall, love it. If you run Giant Rat, love it. Dark Magic Ritual, we now have the combo. Amazing. Uh, let's move back all the way to the Insects and see what we can get. Alright, Insects, let's see. Dream Clown, love it. Just Desserts, Wasteland, Skeleton Jewel. I still need to find Palmerization somewhere. Skeleton Jewel's good, though. I don't know which pack has it, though. Maybe you guys at home can tell me, and then I'll be like, damn it. I make these videos so far in advance that it doesn't matter. In fact, the first video hasn't even gone up yet since I've been playing this game. I mean, I've actually, even Yu-Gi-Oh! Attack Force 2 hasn't ended since I've started playing this one. Since the, of this, uh, of, of, of today, as of today, uh, Attack Force 2 still hasn't ended. Yakko. Metal Morph! Oh! Oh, that's a new combo, but we don't have the, we don't have the metal form. We don't have Metal Zoa. Oh, that's good, though. That's good. Metal Morph is just a good card in general, though. I could put that in any deck. All right, guys. I think that's going to be it for today. I am really excited about this game. It's been super interesting. We've had lots of cool duels. And tomorrow, I might try to put a new deck together. And by new deck, I do mean, like, you know what? It has a few new things in it. Um, Maybe it's better than normal. But I don't know. I'll try, okay? I'll try. So I want to thank you all for watching. Goodbye. Please like and subscribe and see you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.